Hey guys, it's Lydia here from LA 3D Printing, and today I'm going to be talking about the hands and arms of the month. So, let's get started. Alright, so if you guys don't already know, I'm doing a huge project on uh, printing a lot more hands and arms for the school project that I am doing. Um, it is to get me more motivated and everything to send out lots more hands and get hands out each month. And so now I'm going to be actually making videos on uh, the hands of the month that I've created. And I've actually, this month, I've done way more than I um, expected me to do. I actually printed two arms and two hands, so um, I doubled what I actually expected to do. I expected to do one hand and one arm, um, or just two arms and two hands separately, not four, uh, just two. So um, I'm actually super excited to show you guys all these, how they turned out. They actually turned out really nice, and um, through my journey of making more of these, I figured out way... Uh, easier ways to do some things like the grippies. I changed from actually having to print out grips to using some puffy paint and then I'm actually just figured out a new way it's called plasti dipping where it um, basically coats something in a rubber surface when it dries so I'm gonna try that too next month um, but again I'm gonna be creating videos on each of these hands so now we can check out these hands and I'll tell you guys where these are going. So to first start out this right hand and this left hand are going to I believe different places I'm not sure I haven't figured out um, specifically which is going where um, the two places I'm sending to this month is to Sarah Height over at um, different heroes and then I believe her name is uh, Mariah and I don't know how to pronounce her last name over at Enable she actually worked with Yordi um, I forgot what his last name is but she worked with him to create the Enable contest that he hosted and um, I offered to send way more um, after the contest and he gave me her information so now I have another place to send these to over at Enable easier access and so yeah so these are the two hands so this is the right hand um, I believe this entire hand except for the palm was printed in um, IO Robotics PLA filament their big package they sent me um, actually I think this is uh, Ziltex white PLA filament but all the colorfulness and everything was um, printed with Isle Robotics filament. Now, uh, this back gullet part was, I believe, printed on my TiVo Flash. A lot of these were printed on the Flash. Um, the orange was printed on the Flash just because I do have a really good uh, pause and replace filament setting on that. It doesn't really work quite well on my TiVo Tornado, so that makes it a lot cooler. This palm was printed on my TiVo uh, Michelangelo, uh, these fingertips were on the flash, the yellow uh, knuckle parts were on the tornado, the palm was on the fl uh, Michelangelo, and then all of these pins and stuff were on my Tron XY, which I got working, and on the TiVo Tornado. So I try to use um, all the printers that I can to make this production a lot faster. That's why I ended up with two arms and two hands instead of just one of each. Um, but I actually just got my Robo uh, C2 fixed, so hopefully we'll be printing some pieces on there also. Um, but again, I used my Tron XY, which I haven't used in a while, but turns out it works. I dialed some settings in. So that would be this arm. Now my left arm, um, again, all of these were printed except for um, this gullet in IO Robotics filament. Um, the purple, the orange, uh, the, the gray. Now this, as you can see here, this is a thinner base here than this one. So I believe I'm going to print the thicker version, as you can see the thicker palm version, than the thin one just so um, it is more stronger and everything. Um, the Velcro I just ordered online on Amazon. It was super cheap and again the string is just some uh, fishing line and and um, then the padding is just super cheap. Now, there's different kinds of padding. So the stuff, the craft foam I got at um, Hobby Lobby is really thin. But then this, I got this padding with my new airbrush that you guys know I got. It came in this um, padding thing and I cut it in pieces. And this is actually super thick and soft. So if you do decide to make uh, these arms and use padding, use thicker, softer um, padding. Um, foam instead of this thin stuff just so it's not so rough and so it has some flex um, but so as you can see this one fully works great got all the tensioning and everything great and again um, like I showed in my hand building tutorial or step-by-step -step thing I used um, 
epoxy so don't use epoxy when you are uh, securing your foam because then it is super hard to replace when it gets dirty and ruined so make sure you use double-sided tape that's super easy you can get at any hardware store um, but again as you can see I on the other one I replaced these with some puffy paint I just drew some lines on it but I will replace that later with some plastic dip so this one also works great and I'm super excited to send these off I really enjoy printing these super colorful um, arms instead of just plain um, skin color arms. Now I know I was told, I don't believe I remember who it was, maybe it was um, somebody over at Color Fab or something. They said that the more colorful the arm is, the higher percentage it will um, get stolen. So hopefully that doesn't happen because they're colorful, but um, most kids really like color instead of just a plain skin type. But maybe if I send them off to, um, say, Africa for people in need or something, where there's a higher chance of uh, theft there, I might send more skin color-like colors. But I don't really think that's fun, so I'm right now I'm going to stick to these colorful colors. Let me know what you guys think of these colors down in the comments. Um, tell me some color combinations. Right now I just printed all random. So I've actually been storing these hands in a shoe box, which I actually might ship them in. Um, but I believe the first hand I did was this one. Um, now I actually airbrushed a little bit the fingers um, with just some orange paint, just to make them look a little cooler than normal. Um, and uh, I believe this green is in IO Robotics. The white is IO Robotics, I believe so. Um, and then the white, this the palm is actually white, but I just painted it blue just to give it some more color. Um, I actually airbrushed it in the beginning, but then I turned out it didn't look good, so I changed it just by painting it. That is in some just cheap white filament. The silver is, um, uh, I forgot what their name is, but they just sent me some filament. I just did a review on it, the last silver PLA. And then the fingers are actually just that cheap white filament also. So as you guys can see, I have here, I still have my old version of um, the palm. Now, I just realized that, um, as you guys saw on the bigger hands, the, that palm cover, I should be using that on these hands also and then just um, heating it up with a heat gun so that they can actually securely put their, their nub under there. I'm not sure if this is okay, if this is good enough, um, but I will definitely check on that to see if... Um, I'm doing this fine if it has to be this way or it has to be the other way, but um, these are what my old ones look like and I believe Yes in this hand. I put this here instead of this um, It also saves a lot of velcro for me. So that's a lot more money and um, This one usually has two velcros here, but just to save some velcro. I put one because um, It's just a lot easier and again this nice thick padding uh, choose thicker over the thinner stuff and make sure that it is all bent like this. So this is number one hand of the month. So the second hand, um, which I think really is really cool, I actually uh, airbrushed this. So I printed the, the actual hand palm in blue and then I airbrushed it with a purplish color and sprinkled some uh, dust on it, gold dust. So, so this is actually a girl hand. As you can see, I mostly have been making boy hands. I'm not sure why, but that's just turned out what the colors were. So then um, this blue that was blue, supposed to be blue, was uh, Sun Lu's blue PLA that I just, it was kind of silky PLA plus. And um, the rest of these colors, this blue was a cheaper blue I bought on eBay. The pink, um, all the pinks and the purples and the white were all uh, IO Robotics. So this one actually turned out really nice, except for these Velcro parts. I'm probably going to replace them. These are just old pieces of Velcro that have been uh, sewed together, but right now it look it works fine. Um, all I wanted to make sure was the soft part is underneath where the skin is. And again, there's just one piece of padding under here, and instead of having padding and Velcro, I just used this part and screwed the screws in to make sure it's there. So when they squeeze it, now they actually have something that will stop uh, wh whatever they're picking up to hold it like that. And I honestly think these turned out really awesome. So I have to ship these out um, as quickly as possible because I'm a little late on the, the time that I actually was going to ship these out. But I have to print the print labels, the shipping labels, and then I have to put them in their boxes and ship them out. And um, hopefully I will be posting some pictures of when these hands arrived. Um, if you guys do not follow me 
um, on Instagram, I actually posted a um, photo, actually quite a lot of photos, of uh, the arms I sent to Spain. They actually got put into a robotics museum. Um, I forgot what the guy's name is, but he uh, took pictures of the hands or the arms that he was he was holding them, and then he also took pictures of them in the museum, which was super cool. Um, I'm super excited that those will be in there. He said they will only be in there until somebody is in need and somebody needs them when he goes to his work and stuff and does all that cool um, giving these arms out and stuff to people. So I will definitely update you guys on Twitter and on Instagram. So those both will be in the description below. So definitely follow me on those because you'll get lots of updates on this hand project and everything that is going on. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little um, hands and arms of the month. I definitely enjoyed showing you guys these and telling you a little, about, a little bit about uh, what they're made out of and, and um, whose filament it is. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, again, to follow me down below in the description. Definitely subscribe to my channel for more of these cool 3D printing hand videos and definitely a lot more. If you guys want to see any other kind of videos, please let me know down in the comments. Um, as you guys know, I've been lacking uploading for a while now. I just don't know what to film. Um, I hopefully will be filming some videos of just random prints I'm printing, but definitely let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.